Hi everyone, welcome back to an episode of Tuesday Tips with Tabitha. I am Tabitha from the education team, here to wish you a happy Tuesday and really to talk today about the Slack integration that we have set up as an automation action within the platform. You have a really cool opportunity here to start to say if something happens in Active Campaign, let's push it out as a message in Slack. So let's take a look here. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start our automation from scratch today because we really wanna think about what triggers we wanna use based on the actions that the contact is taking to push that Slack message out. So what we're gonna use in this automation is actually submits a form. Again, you can use anything that really makes sense for you and the message that you're trying to convey to your team. We are actually going to pick the Boone's Bandanas form today. This is our Contact Us form. This is going to give us an opportunity to say, hey, a customer or a contact reached out to Boone's Bandanas. They have a question. They maybe need to know something about our products. They want to report that maybe a bandana shrunk. Something like that that gives you some information on what the contact's actually reaching out about. So we're actually going to toggle over to our CX Apps folder and click post message to a Slack channel. Now, as you can see here, I've already connected the integration. If you need to connect your account, you can simply click here and follow the prompts. It'll do it for you automatically and then take you right back to the automation page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press select, here I can choose my Slack channel that I want to post in. So what would give me an opportunity to do is let's say we want to post in questions. And this is our customers questions Slack channel for Boone's Bandanas. And then I can simply decide what message I want to convey in that Slack post. So I'm actually going to use these personalization tags to push through the customer or contacts information that they submitted in the form giving that person who picks up the ticket an opportunity to reach out to that customer right away. The other things that you can do here are really utilize your custom fields based on what you included in the form. So one thing I wanna include here is gonna be additional comments. So anybody, you have their contact information and then the additional comments are going to be what they, write it, what they wrote in um, regarding the form, the things that they have questions about. Maybe I just wanna post a quick message here that says, please reach out to this contact at your earliest convenience. So now anytime somebody submits this form, what's gonna happen is they're gonna enter into this automation, this message is gonna post to that Slack channel, and you'll really just start to build a quicker um, response time for your contacts. We're just gonna put our timestamp on the end of this automation, and then we're gonna name it Contact Us Form Slack message. So now we have this very straight to the point automation that is making sure that everybody is aware as soon as those forms are submitted that there's a new customer to reach out to for that customer service inquiry. So check out this channel. If you have any creative uses that you've created for your Slack integration, please feel free to let us know in the comments and we look forward to connecting with you next week.